Habari ya wachezaji? Habari ya achievers? Habari ya diaspora? Kopoa? Eh, smart. moyo na kwa kuambia nini watu wa maana sana. Sawa jamii? Eh mimi naitwa Alex, Alex Olimskeri na kuna wageni wako hapa mnaongea sana. Na wageni wako hapa. Sawa jamii? Nzuri kujua wacheki wageni? Haya, wacha tuanze hapa. Mambo <laughs> 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 Madam Thank you so much. Hi guys, hope you are doing well. My name is Chris Samimo. I am the chairman of the FKF Youth Committee. So basically I'm in charge of youth football in the country. And we are here to witness the launch of the um, Kajado Under 13 and Under 15 leagues being played here in Rongai. Awesome, awesome. So tell us, uh, actually how did FKF come up with this kind of a project? So basically, uh, we looked around and we discovered that, uh, of course, the future of football is the youth. Uh, but we had no youth leagues going on in the country. So when uh, you see when you play in a league as a player, when you develop. Now, if you look at the kinds that do well in Europe, mm -hmm. their kids are playing leagues from when they are 13, 15. By the time the guy is playing 17, he's playing for the senior team. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot of experience in playing youth league football as youngsters. Now in Kenya, there is no organized league football for, for, for youngsters. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of youth clubs, yes, but all they do is play tournaments. Now, mm -hmm. tournaments are good, mm -hmm. but tournaments do not develop a player. Yeah. Why develop a player is playing weekend in, weekend out. Mm -hmm. Why? Because if I play today, like this team is playing over here, yeah. and uh, I lose, then I will sit down over the week and figure out what has made me lose. So mm -hmm. when I meet after two weeks, mm -hmm. I'd have worked on that. Mm -hmm. Then I try again and maybe I improve or I don't improve. Yeah. So every time I play, I grow. Mm -hmm. Now, a tournament, I'll play once a year and, mm -hmm. and, and that's it. Then I'll wait again for the tournament next year. So there's no time for me to keep growing. And that's why it's important to start the league. Mm -hmm. Now, our idea is to play the leagues in every county. Wow. Why? Because we want every county to have an all star team. Mm -hmm. So, in quotes, every county is a Harambe Stars Yaki. Amazing. Now, once that happens, we'll organize a festival where these counties play against each other. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have a team per region, mm -hmm. based on the age region of Kenya. Yeah. So, for example, our Rongai, they'll play mm -hmm. under the river. So, first of all, you have an all star Rongai county team. Yeah. After that, they will play with the other counties in Rift Valley. Mm -hmm. Then you have an all-star Rift Valley team. Mm -hmm. Then after that, they will play against other regions. Mm -hmm. Then you'll have a national under 13, mm -hmm. a national under 15 team. Yeah. Now, this is how what happens. Okay. We are here at Trongai, mm -hmm. at the Situation Center. Mm -hmm. This is one of the centers. Mm -hmm. They will have an all-star team over here. Mm -hmm. There are guys playing in Loitokto. Mm -hmm. The other guys will be playing in Kitengela. Yeah. Other guys playing in Go. Yeah. 
Now, all those guys will have all-star teams. Mm-hmm. So, if you're here, you'll be picked for an all-star team. Yeah. Then you'll meet your counterparts from Gong and from the Tok Tok and from uh, Kitengela. Wow, wow. Now, if you're good again, you'll be picked in that all-star team yeah. of the county. Yeah. Then you'll meet other counties in Rift Valley, mm-hmm. Baringo and Akuru and so on. Yeah. Now, if you're good enough, you'll yeah. be picked for the Rift Valley team. Yeah. Then you'll meet other regions. Yeah. Now, if you're good enough, you're mm-hmm. picked for a national team. Yeah. Those are four selections. Wow. So, figure this out. Yeah. A player who's gone through four selections mm-hmm. must be a good player. For sure. Wow. And that is how we are going to get the next talent in Kenya. Mm-hmm. And that's the importance of having these leagues play in every county. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy to say that we are now, this is the fifth county. Mm-hmm. We've done in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. We have done uh, Nakuru. Yeah. We've done Baringo. Mm-hmm. We've done Kiambu. Yeah. And now we are in Kajado. Nice. So Kajado is the fifth county to get onto on board. Mm-hmm. We are hoping to get at minimum of 20 counties on board. Wow. And uh, this is our idea as a federation mm-hmm. to revive the youth football in Kenya. Hey, that's amazing. I think you've explained even the objective. You've, you've explained the goals. But let me ask you just uh, like a, a, a for future question. What, 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 what is it that you're looking actually in five years' time? with this kind of a project for, for, for the under under 13 kids in five years time maybe probably what, what, what we're looking at it? is you know we have a lot of players who are good yeah but they disappear because no one knows them yeah and there's no follow-up mm-hmm. so what happens over here is that every player who's playing in this league yeah will be entered onto a system it's called fifa connect mm. so we'll have his details we'll have his name mm-hmm. we'll have his age yeah we'll have his details basically mm-hmm. So if he's good, and next year I don't see him, mm. I will come to Rongai yeah. and I'll ask that mm. guy who was here, mm. where is he? Mm. And the guy in Rongai better explain to me yeah. why he's not in there. Mm. In, in, in the team. Yeah. So that way you keep tabs mm. of a player yeah. from when he's starting. Mm. And the good players then don't get lost yeah. because we know them and we have them in our system. Wow. So that is the main objective. Wow. And you'll find that in, in, in five years' time, yeah. then you have a, a fantastic team. Hey, that's amazing, sir. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I don't I don't know if you have actually any parting shot, especially to the up-and-coming coaches. What What's going to be your word for them, especially the ones that are nurturing these kids and they feel like they are giving so much, but yet there's nothing that actually they're getting back in return. So my, my, my parting shot, I, I, I've been here, I've seen the football, it's been fantastic, the kids, mm-hmm. uh, you know, they're all innocent and they're playing good football. Yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm enjoying this better than I, I, I've been watching the FKF Cup. <laughs> I think Tasca are playing uh, somebody, homeboy is the FC. Yeah. This is more exciting to me. Mm-hmm. And the coaches, mm-hmm. teaching these kids, mm-hmm. you are the guys who do the greatest job. Mm-hmm. You are the first point of contact with these kids in terms of football and it's important you do a good job and so we also work hard to make sure that we get these coaches trained properly so they impart the correct uh, information to these kids mm-hmm. it might look thankless now there's no money in all that kind of thing mm-hmm. but let me tell you coaches these kids will never forget you one of these kids one day will be playing in europe yeah. believe me coach will come and look for you yeah. i've seen that happen i've seen guys who've gone there yeah. who made it they will always come back to their coach from the grassroots. So just keep doing the job. And also in life, when you do something out of your good heart that helps improve somebody else, then you get rewarded mm-hmm. by God. Nice. So just keep up the good job and uh, don't think about the money. Just keep doing what you're doing and really appreciate that.